virtual peeps. Today we are going to be doing a B. So mine is on a square sheet of paper. It's a six by six sheet of paper, but um, I cut it down earlier. If you have this kind of paper, just printer paper um, or regular size watercolor paper and you want to cut it into a square, here's how. If you do not want to, you don't have to. So um, if you want to, you will turn your paper horizontally. So the long way, not the tall way, the long way, horizontal. And you will take one corner and you will bring it down to the bottom of the page so it meets up. And then you will crease it like so. So you have a whole sheet and then you fold it. So you have this much left. So with this piece, you'll, you will cut it off. So your square will still be larger than mine and that's okay. So if you want to draw your B on a Square, that's fine. Mine's a square too. But if not, a rectangle is just as good. So the first step is um, I am using oil pastel and watercolor. But um, remember, use what you have. But do your best with whatever you have. So with this sheet of paper, my first step is to draw a shape. And it is, I'll show you. Kind of like a peanut. <laughs> so you do not have to draw your bee looking this way, but um, I just thought it was kind of different and cool. But if you just want to draw a big oval or if you want, so if you could draw it just like this, if you want, you could draw it like pointy at the bottom. It's up to you. Just have one size bee shape, okay? So this is mine. Mine was turned diagonally this way so I could fill more of the page. But once again, it's your art. I want you to do your thing. So the way I'm going to draw the wings is if the bee was on the ground and I was looking at it from the ground. So the wings are going to come in. It's going to start from the inside of the body, but yours does not have to. Just remember that. So my next step is I'm going to draw two wings. Okay, so I said this was a peanut, and these kind of look like hearts to me. But you can draw your wings however you want. So do you see this little space right here, this original line of our peanut? We would erase that, but I did mine in Sharpie, so I can't erase that. But we won't be able to see through our wings. So erase that part if you have it, okay? So the next step is you are going to draw two antennas. So remember, antennas come out of the bee's head, not the other side, okay? So I have decided this is gonna be the top of my bee's head. So I'm gonna draw two lines off the page. Okay, now, bees are yellow and black. So for a bee, we're not just gonna randomly color yellow and black, we must have stripes. So you don't want to have a hundred stripes because then that's a lot of coloring, but you do want to have a few. So I'm going to say this is the head and I, you can draw eyes if you want to, you don't have to, but you can. And then the next line, so this is yellow, this is black and then yellow. And then we don't want to draw lines through our wings. Okay. And so this is the amount of wing, I mean, stripes that I have, but it's totally up to you how many you have. So then at the bottom of mine, I am gonna add a stinger. And then, do you know how many legs a bee has? It's six, six if you didn't know. So um, you must have three legs on each side of your bee. So I don't care how you do them. You could draw one like this, you could draw one squiggly. You could draw more straight. It's totally up to you. So make sure you have three legs on each side. Okay, so we are going to work from lightest color to darkest color and our wings will be white. So um, with your white oil pastel, if you have it, if not a white crayon, you are going to color in, and I know that sounds kind of silly because a white piece of paper and we're using white oil pastel, but 
um, we don't want to have to worry about the watercolor getting on top of our wings and our wings being blue and not white. So you are going to carefully and hard, hard, hard color your wings of your bee white. So nothing else on your bee will be white except your wings, okay? So it might be a little hard to see, but if you look closely, you can see where you've missed So these are my colored white wings. I don't know if you can see that. Then we said we're working lightest to dark. So we use white, that's the lightest. The next lightest color is yellow. So I wanna see your best coloring here. I do not wanna see any white behind your yellow. And so my head is going to be yellow and I'm gonna carefully color it in. I'm not gonna go out of the lines. I would rather it take me a long time than it be really, really messy. So I did that. So the next one, I'm going to skip. It's gonna sound kind of weird. So it's gonna look like yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white, all the way down. Because black is dangerous and it mixes in with every other color of the rainbow and it just turns to a mess. So we always use black last. So we have yellow, white, but you're not coloring the white you're just gonna leave it blank for now. And then you're gonna do yellow. And then this one's white. And then I have one more yellow, but you might have more than one yellow. So you're gonna do that all the way down the page. So this is gonna be the only thing that's yellow. So we have white wings, we have yellow stripes, and the other stripes that are not colored are going to be black. Also, your legs will be traced black. So tracing does not mean coloring all over the place, coloring it in. It means just going over the pencil line you already have. So your antennas will be black as well, okay? So the last step before we can paint is you are going to carefully, carefully color in your black stripes but I'm gonna, so this is what I want it to look like, okay? So, yours will look something like this, okay? So I had added a little bit of yellow in here uh, last year, but that is totally up to you, okay? So yours can look something like this. You don't have to outline the wings in black. Um, your choice, I'll leave that to you. But what I do not want to happen is this. A lot of people, after they've colored in their entire bee and they think they've done so good and they are so proud of how clean they colored and how they stayed in the lines, and then they think, oh, I have all this extra kind of waxy look on my paper from the oil pastel and we're about to start painting and then they smear it everywhere. So this is, would be, oh my gosh, this is so good. And then they think, oh, I just need to wipe all that extra oil pastel off. Is, does that look good to you? And then it gets all on your hands. And then when you're like, help, mom, help. I have this stuff going everywhere. And it just grows and it mixes with the lighter colors of the rainbow. So what you wanna do is you want to do your black and put your black away, okay? Do not keep messing with it. Do not get it all over your hands. It just causes a big, bad mess. So that's why I always say black is dangerous. Black is the most dangerous color of the rainbow because once you put it on and you rub it, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. So after you have this, Okay, so it looks something more like this. You can get your watercolor, and if you don't have watercolor, that's okay. Just make sure your background is not white. So you will paint your background. Like this. And then you will send me a picture. So I want you to see, I want to see your best bee. It can be 
different than mine. Mine is just a basic B, remember, but I want you to be creative as you can and um, just send it to me um, in Canvas inbox or on my email. So I hope you enjoy doing this and can't wait to see them. Bye.